I suppose that's the reason why we can only conjecture because we asked for the explanation recently from some explain that by, by having night activities, you're actually undermining the security and credibility of the board. You're actually rendering the board vulnerable to machinations, to forces, dark forces that operate at night. And that is our biggest problem for the Arari board and even the rural board. We're supposed to be counting that. But now people are still talking of what we will take every situation as, as it comes. But I want to tell you that the people have been fantastic in their support. And we are urging and encouraging the boss to make sure that they are around the police station within the limits of the law to secure the police station in their court for their court to come. But that court is already contaminated. And we have to make sure that we give you know, effect to the will and to sacrifice. Well, the plan is coming. Uh, once we have received a full report, we'll be able to tell the nation and the world the direction. That's why we have invited observers so that they also appreciate our, our, our position. What shocks us is that we learn any kind of funny nonsense that they're trying to do. We are the people, we are the citizens. Enough is enough. We can't allow a repeat of 2018. Or else we have to take some very serious measures that have to advance peace in this country, instability. First, I'm a freelance journalist. Out of these circumstances, um, how confident <coughs> are you uh, that this election is going to produce uh, a credible... The line in the sand that is before. So in terms of the credibility, you can see that Mr. Mnangagwa was planning all along to nullify the credibility of this world. It is up to him to justify to the world and to the people of Zimbabwe, why he wants to continue on this path of illegitimacy. But as far as we will not allow it, because we can't allow this country to be ruled or governed by people who do not have the money to receive it all. Uh, I think for the first time in our country, we are going to have a night election. Uh, public opinion is in concern that um, the side voting will be played. In uh, the evening, we woke up today in the morning when the only flyers that were fake from the Triple C discrediting that we are uh, actually this morning's election. Now, given these circumstances, when we are having people voting at night, does the Triple C have uh, election agents for the capacity to defend the night vote? Since people are continuously voting right now, are you going to be defending the vote tonight? Because there are reports that first agents are deployed across the areas across the country. To try and manipulate the election. Well, the first crime <coughs> on the part of Z is their culpability and complicity in allowing FAS to be an extension of Z processes. FAS is not supposed to be anywhere near Z processes and Z activities. But you, they have contaminated and polluted these processes by inviting a shadowy, spooky, ghostly organization that is not known at all to come and interfere, poison and discredit the election. But this is not the first time FAS is doing funny things. They did it in the internal Zambia election, and a lot of manipulation was done. You know, it's common cause. They have repeated this to then now escalate their, you know, stubbornness to a national election. Who will not accept it? But of course, Zambia is so desperate. I've told you a catalog of their desperate acts. These are the last kicks of a dying horse. They are history. They are the past. <laughs> they are clinging on to power. But the people have shown them the red, the red, the red card. And this is why they have the audacity to lie. Head of force. Mr. Chamisa has said, I will not participate in the election uh, because it's rigged. Because that is what they wanted us to do, to boycott the election, so that they would then play the game with their own prisoners. But we've said, look, we are going to make you talk to talk to the last man. And we've done so. We ran a fantastic campaign. We ran a fantastic uh, mobilization. People support us. People are with us. All the four corners of the country. We are the only national party. That PF is not a party. It's a mafia gang. That's why you see terror in everything that they're doing. And we are conscious of what they're doing, especially as they think. We even know where they think those guys. 
We have two companies where they were printing the flag. First, taking a kilo. Zanfi have played with kilo. That's their tactics. Selu scout tactics, Rhodesian tactics. They have learned well from Smith, and they continue. That part of colonialism will stop them. The people shall go, and the citizens shall go. And uh, besides the communication we've uh, received from ZEC, has the party engaged ZEC? And uh, if not, uh, or if you have, what has been the response? We have engaged ZEC to a point of nausea, uh, to, to a point of actually being a nuisance. We, 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 we had our election agents engage in ZEC, our election department and bureau engage in ZEC. Like we told you, ZEC are also, uh, their hands seem to be tight. They don't have capacity to even tell you of what's happening. They, they held a press conference in the afternoon to say that, uh, I think that... I trans, trans, trans fake news. What was fake? Mm. Well, I, I don't know. But uh, this, in fact, it's even scandal. They've not communicated uh, with the people. So we don't even know what the position is. All we are just hearing is that... Uh, uh, the ballots are going to come. People went to the ballot <coughs> the highest turnover ever at 4 a.m. Mm. Up to this hour, they are still in the queue. What level of disrespect? What level of abuse? No respect, no apology, no special emergence, extraordinary uh, address to say this is the situation. It must be corrected, and this is how it's going to be corrected. People have to go to work. People have to plan their lives. How do they plan their life? They have not exercised their mandate in their critical vote. This day was a holiday. What about tomorrow? They, how do they make sure that they pursue or they follow national processes? So it's a big issue uh, that we have, particularly from ZEC. We've engaged them. We continue to engage them, but we're not happy with the response we are getting from ZEC. I'll take three last ones. One, two, yeah. three. Oh. Um, yeah. I'm sure the chief election again highlighted, thank you, Rice, highlighted that in Zarabani, the member of parliament in Zarabani was attacked. There's a police report. And many other areas where we have been, I think Mazowe, across the whole country. And, and I think that is the emphasis that has made. And there are reports that have been made. It's official. This is not conjecture. And people have been terrorized in the rural areas. You know, goes uh, uh, Paul. Exit poll station. Exit poll station. Ah, uh, terror station. Because you are being asked to come there, register, and they want to know who we have voted for. You go back. That's rubbish. That doesn't happen in any civilized, you know, jurisdiction. And that we have to fight. I identified the last one. Yes. Otherwise, we are going to spend the whole night here. I'm sure you need to go to other, you know, uh, places, and I. Mr. Chamisa, your party has raised a lot of irregularities in regarding this election. Let's say that 2008 itself, are you going to accept a GNU My brother, let's not cross you know, the bridge that has not been gotten to. The issue at the moment is a credible election. We can't talk of a GNU under these circumstances. A GNU to do what? To cheat people. A GNU to deceive people. The people have voted. And their vote must come. They must choose a leader of their choice. Not this thing by Mr. Monagab of wanting to come through the back door. In fact, he has not come through the back door. He wants to just come without even the door. Just jumping off. <laughs> we will not allow that. 
He knows that he doesn't get the support of the people. But he wants to reproduce himself. Almost what we were fighting against. And I'm Gabi. He's now a, a, a Mugabe dance too. Maybe, you know, you have people who say Mark too Mugabe. We don't want Mugabe to be in that kind of a thing. Let us respect the will of the people. When the people have decided, let's respect their decision. That is our thing. And that is our, our request. My brother, I will say last and very last day we're done. Thank you. Last you know, I'm just trying to democratize. Mr. Amisa, you seem to be very sure about the outcome and uh, how big the situation, the situation is. Do we have some alternative uh, suggestions on how we are going to deal with this <coughs> situation according to how you have clearly expressed yourself? Thank you, sir. I, I think this is what Paul is saying, was trying to say. But let's wait for, and I said, let's wait for a, a preliminary report, a comprehensive report, if you then we'll come to you and give a way forward. Don't doubt that. <coughs> you know. If you want to understand our way and our source, ask Zambia. Look at the investment that they're putting into fighting us. The resources will tell you that we are no meat mouse. Nobody deploys this kind of force against weak people. They know our true way. And they know that we mean business. 